of these things about people around you? So it started because we were at a popular place in California, and I hashtagged that place. And it had like 300,000 results. And I just, we kept clicking refresh, 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 and every few minutes, a new post would pop up. So we found this girl, and we are just doing it for fun, and this girl literally a few feet away from us took a picture by the sunset, and she was there. She was still there. And we saw her, and we were looking at this thing going, wow, there's a lot of power in this. We could have some fun with this. So I do pranks for a living, so at, at first, you know, I just... <laughs> okay. I thought it would be fun to, to just prank people this way and see if you go to a popular place how many people we could find to do this. And so that's kind of how the whole thing started. And through that, we found out all this personal information about this person. Did anyone yeah. get angry? Did anyone yeah, I would get people, freaked you could out? Make people uncomfortable yeah. that if they have all no, this right, personal yeah. information about sure, it, like, if they're sending, I sending know what out pictures do. of their kids or something like that, but too, that, that could get pretty scary. But that's why Jack yeah. is here, because we often post things on social networks, and we don't think <clears throat> about the fact that it's not just your friends seeing it, it's not just your family, it's Jack! <laughs> it's Jack's <laughs> friends. Oh. And we, all of a sudden, people begin to learn things about you. If they want to, they can find out your medical problems. They can find out when you're on vacation. Mm -hmm. They can find out exactly when you get home at night. They can figure out where you pick up your laundry. I have they a pretty, scar uh, it's pretty really scary, scary story like I this. Find, I find it terrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, terrifying. What? Uh, the first time I realized that this was a problem, I had broken down at the side of the road, oh. and I tweeted, I said, uh, um, Broke down the side of the road, flat tire, and I did a hashtag Indiana Toll Road. Uh -oh. So all of a sudden, I get all these tweets about red SUV at the side of the road. Dr. Rachel, I'm rushing to, I'm, 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 I just saw you, I'm gonna make a turnaround. So then I started to think about it, uh -oh. and that could have been a situation <laughs> where someone could have said, I'm mm -hmm. stuck at the side of the road. Yep. I can come and I can rob her or oh, anything. Yeah, That's the right. time yeah, I exactly. Has that changed yeah. because I, I, you know, Wow. Yeah. I've noticed that people who use social media, some people use it more to just post general things. Mm -hmm. Hey, read this interesting article. Yeah, right. Other people like yourself will say, hey, I'm stuck on the side of the road. Yeah, Jim, yeah. I've seen you do I'm, things I'm like, like oh, hey, I'm, at, right I'm at the ATM right now. Here's my pin. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. So the lessons, there's five major lessons we should learn from this. Because in the end, you do have the ability to protect this information. Do you not? You do somewhat, but I mean, anytime you get the information out there, I mean, you would be shocked at how many people we found who had their settings set to private, and we still found personal information about them, mm -hmm. medical information, in fact, because it starts this whole chain of events where now you're clicking on their friends and other postings, and there's this weird way that you can always kind of circle around back to that person, even if it's set to private. I mean, private. I have to say, Jack, you know, I have two teenagers. Oh, man. I, my heart is pounding right now. I, th and, yeah. and you know, I've been trying to teach them for years now about how to be safe and savvy. And I, I think they're doing a good job. And I, and I do kind of watch it and supervise it as much as I can. But, you know, we all have a saying in medicine.